Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today we're going to make us some uh, uh, cauliflower bagels, if you can believe that. They're like mini little bagels. Uh, there's another recipe that we w I was going to do first, but I think this one might be a little bit more healthier. It's a little more ingredients. Uh, Penny wanted some bagels, so without further ado, let's get to it. <clears throat> okay, there you see I got my uh, non-stick mat, the sill pat, in, uh, in my pan. Got my oven preheat to 400. Uh, here we have three cups of packed rice cauliflower. I already squoze them out to get all the extra moisture out. Here we have two beaten eggs. Then we have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a pinch of uh, a kosher sea salt, uh, two tablespoons of coconut flour, two tablespoons of almond flour. And here we have everything bagels, I think. Yeah, everything bagels. It's a spice. I have a recipe for that. And I'm going to use my portion scoop to portion out the sizes. So let's get to it. This recipe is quite simple also, but it just happens to take a little bit more ingredients, which is not by much, but uh, so without further ado, let's get to it. So here we have uh, our rice cauliflower, and like I said, I already, uh, I put it in, I have to dice, I had this in the freezer, some of it, so I took that out and put it in the microwave, tried to steam some out, and then I squeezed it out, got a lot of liquid. So now we're going to put in... Uh, quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a pinch of, uh, <laughs> I don't even know why that's in there, uh, kosher salt, sea salt. Here we have the uh, coconut powder. Now this, the, the coconut powder, I think the flour, from how I read about it, it, it absorbs liquid. So just that, that, that being said, this here is the almond. I, I, that shit smells good. I mean, seriously. Already it smells good. So what we're going to do is mix all this together. And then we put our eggs in and mix that in there. This smells so good just by <laughs> just with the almond flour and the coconut flour. Holy moly. Okay, well, the other one, like I said, that's a... A two ingredient dough, that would be with just regular self-rising flour and uh, some yogurt. I didn't know which one to do first. This one, uh, I kind of remember seeing it on uh, YouTube, I think it was. Uh, I think the, the tuber is, uh, her name's Danny. also. I think it's clean and healthy or healthy and clean, something like that. She does all kinds of healthy recipes. So, that being said... That, don't, don't, don't lose none of it. This is going to make you a little bit of a dough here. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we mixed up pretty well. Um, so now I'm going to get my baking sheet over here, and we'll proceed. Okay, so you see I got my uh, my mat down, and uh, put that over there. So like I said, I'm going to use my portion scoop. I'm going to try two ounces a piece, not pack, not not over pack them, but and then we're just going to form this into a little ball at first, you know, get it mixed in. And then what we want to do is kind of form it into the shape of a cookie or whatever you want to call it. These are mini bagels. Now, don't forget, this ain't a regular size bagel. And uh, we're going to try to keep everything nice and tight. And then we get to a certain point, you poke your finger in there. As you can see, and then, whoo like the Pillsbury Doughboy. And then flip it over. And then poke it all the way through, okay? But be careful. I just pushed that one too far, split the side. So we'll do it again. 
Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to poke this here, and then try to get it on the pan. Oh, it broke a little bit, but we'll push that right back together. A little circle at the bottom there. Don't worry, this will cook in nice. It'll be good. So I'll make one more, and then I'll finish putting these up, and you guys can take a break. Like I said, the purpose of the coconut flour, from what I understood, it's flour, but it also absorbs liquid. You know, they all absorb, I guess, but that's a special property of this one. So I suspect that helps making this little uh, little mini bagel, dude. And see, so you just, you know, go around there and get your little bagel, push them together. If you have any splits, just push them, push them back together. And there you have it. All right. Let me roll up the rest of these and uh, you guys take a little break. Well, next when we come back, we'll be putting some seeds on them. Boop. Okay, my friends, so you can see I got uh, all my little mini bagels on, the, on there now. This one... I didn't put a hole in because it was it didn't have quite quite enough. So I made this one flat and I put a dip a dimple in it, and that's in New York they sell those. They're called Bialis. <laughs> All right. So now what we do is we get out our sprinkles. And you just sprinkle them lightly on top. Like I said, this stuff is called everything bagels. I think it's everything everything. I, you can put this on whatever you want depending on what you mix it with. I got a nice. A homemade mix we can show you one day. We're just going to sprinkle these on there. Now you can sprinkle if you want. You can go crazy and do some uh, jalapeno. I mean jalapenos. I was going to put some jalapeno in there, but to me that's like not the bagel thing. So anyway, I tried to get these all about the same thickness. I know they're all about the same weight except for the last one. Now, what you do is you get a little teaspoon and you just tap so that the seeds stay there, see? We're just going to tap around each one. The oven just beeped, so right before you guys came back, so. Just light tap, nothing, nothing heavy, nothing bad, you know, don't smash it to death. And then uh, you're good. Now this is just a little fun snack, you know. That's really, what are you going to do with it? Try to call them mini bagels. Should have made them orange color. We could have put a green stem in there and called them pumpkins. <laughs> All right. So my oven beeped. It's at 400. We're going to pop this in for about 20 minutes, give or take. We'll check it at 15, and we'll be back, okay? Okay, my friends, there they are. Um, they, I, had them, I left them in three minutes longer than 20, uh, 23 minutes, okay? And that's because I wanted to get them a little bit more... See around the edges there, a little brown? That's what I was looking for. But they were done at 20. Um, and I'm going to let them cool a little bit before we take them off. You want to make sure they're really nice and cool because right now they're still kind of tender. If you go trying to slice into one, it might break up. I don't know. Okay, there you have it. Uh, well, I'm going to show you the dish I'm going to eat on. Hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Somebody ate half my... Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, there was a... Made a little sandwich out of uh, the bagel, 
and uh, my lentil burgers. Okay, camera girl's busy, so I'm trying to do this again by myself. I don't know, it's hard to get good help these days. But anyway, someone ate half my sandwich already. I don't think it was him. He don't bite that big. Okay, so anyway, here we have it, my little bagels, my mini bagel with my uh, lentil burger I made the other day. Mmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, this is a nutritious sandwich all the way around. <laughs> but you need to uh, make sure that before you start slicing and dicing on these things that they're pretty much cooled down all the way. But anyway, one more bite. Mm, man. That is, that's really tasty. Mm. You have to remember, these things are not going to be like your nice doughy inside uh, bagel. And they, they're not really that big. They're really like that, you know, not a monster bagel. But at any rate, let's get down to business. When you're out and about, cover up, protect yourself as well as others. Wash your hands, wash your hands. And then when you're out and about, have that uh, sanitizing spray or the gel with you and do, do your hands up before you start driving away. Go to another store, do the same thing. When you get home, wash your hands. Don't talk with your mouth full unless it's another one of these tasty little morsels I got here. And as usual, give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you have, just leave it alone. And if you haven't subscribed and you do, the little notification bell will pop up and you hit that and you'll get notified each time I make another video. So for right now, this is Mr. Dan wishing you and yours a happy day and come back when you're hungry and we will give you another dish just like this. We're out.